What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, RoboPanda15 here, bringing you another episode of Mega Dimension Neptunia V2 here. And I was going to have grinding at the start of this, but I started doing it, and I realized that even to after a battle with Dark Purple... Yes, I bet that is starting to feel a little painful. Nepgear loses 692 hit points every single time. So the only way we're, I think we're going to fix that for now will be going to Uzume's hideout. So let's go ahead and do that. I choose you. Ooh, and no encounters. So there we go. We're fully healed. Now, we got conversations. But before we do that, I need to buy some shit. Because we are in desperation right now for healing items. I'm going to buy a full set here of 30 healing grasses. Um, I'll buy one more life fragment. Oh, let me uh, take off Nep Nepgear's uh, OP sword. So we got a beam slicer. How is it? Now, what's the one that's in here do? Exact same thing. Okay, cool. We don't need to worry about that. Um, hmm. How is it? Yeah, I don't need any items. We're good. All I need is this, those healing grasses. I really needed those. All right, so we're going to do some conversations, and after we're done with the conversations, we're going to have a grinding montage, and then we'll continue on with the rest of the game. I wasn't sure what was going to happen for a moment there, but I'm glad we won. Me too, but I wonder why we were suddenly able to gather shares. Isn't it only possible to acquire shares from humans? Allow me to explain. Before that, however, where is Uzume? Uzume went up to the rooftop so she could take a shower first. Ah, then this is most opportune. I wouldn't want Uzume to overhear what I'm about to disclose. Oh? What do you mean? Uzume possesses a certain special ability. Special ability? She's able to turn her daydreams into reality. That is fucking cool! So that would mean she has the ability to intervene in real world events, yeah? But is it possible to do such a thing? She cannot interfere or change large scale events, but she does possess this power. You two have some experience with convenient things occurring exactly the way she had imagined, don't, do you not? Oh, could you mean the pudding ingredients? Correct. She imagined and wished for you two to create and eat pudding. This is why you were able to find ingredients. She also imagined and wished for wished today during our battle. She wished you three would be able to obtain shares from monsters and subsequently transform. That's why we were able to gain shares all of a sudden. That's amazing! It's like a super cheat code! Wait, but why hasn't she used such a convenient ability before? If she did, couldn't she have beaten the giant already? There are certain things that come into play, such as the fact that Uzume cannot bring something into existence unless she sincerely imagines it. That is to say that how she manipulates reality is also based on her subconsciousness. This is why I am extremely grateful to you both. You helped Uzume change the state of shares within this world. I can only hope that if we are not too late, we will be able to stop this world's collapse. I get it, Umio. That's why you said something to lead her on at that time. I'm surprised you noticed. Well, I guess you could say it was by chance. You were actually engaging in Uzume's story for once, so it got me. It kind of got me curious. Now that you understand her ability, I sincerely ask that you please keep it a secret from her. All right. So we'll finish these dialogues and then we'll do a grinding montage. How's that sound? Grinding montage at the end. Let's do that. It's finally over. 
Hey, Uzume, can I talk to you for a second? Hmm, what's up, Nepsy? I was just wondering what you're planning on doing next. Oh, you mean about that, huh? I'm gonna go beat the shit out of that purple hag, of course. <laughs> the fact that she just blatantly says, gonna go beat the shit. <laughs> lost my shit right there I'm sorry well I'm sure she's no match for a giant killer like me okay Sue once you take out our four what's after that after that oh that's what you mean you know what I, you know what I'm getting at oops did I mess up text no I didn't okay good you want me to come with you right back to your world that's right Oh, you're so good, Uzume. We're becoming completely telepathic with each other. Your offer makes me real happy, Nepsy. And I know that it's probably a great place. It's your nation, after all. But... I'm sorry. I can't go with you. Why? There's no one here anymore. What if we could even be CPU partners? I know for a fact that people of my nation would love you in a heartbeat. Well, Nepsy, I've spoken with everyone a while ago about the possibility of leaving this world and searching for a new one to live in, but the answer was unanimous. Even if it was possible to leave, no one wanted to cast away this world, even in its brokenness. We decided we'd struggle here in this world until the very end. And the punchline was that after investigating, we found this world's civilization isn't advanced enough for dimensional travel. Uzume? Ah, uh, come on. Don't give me that gloomy look. This isn't permanent, you know? We'll see each other again, right? That purple hag might be behind this world's destruction. And if I defeat her, maybe it'll return to normal. If that's the case, I'll revive this city. And the entire nation along with it. I'll be starting from zero. I guess it's more like starting from the negative, but... I'm going to make this nation amazing. Once that all happens, I'll have to come by and visit your nation. But isn't being by yourself lonely? Doesn't it make you feel helpless? I got Umio, the baby bugs, and all my dogu friends too. It's pretty lively as it is, really. Uzume. So that's it. If you keep being a lazy ass and eating all the pudding, our nation's gonna pass yours up in no time. Yeah, I think I want a population of 100,000, maybe even a whole million. All throughout the city, we'll have elevators, moving walkways, and cars without any wheels, flying through big glass tubes, and all the citizens will wear tights all the time. <laughs> Actually, that's lame. Forget I said that. This is the era of infotech. I'll establish a culture surrounding the World Wide Web and make it so people can buy games online, can play games online. <laughs> When you're online, you'll be able to compete in fighting or racing games with, the, with other people or adventure in RPGs together. I really hope... No, I'm gonna do it. I'll create that fun, na wonderful nation. Wouldn't it be the coolest thing ever? Definitely. I think it'd be super cool. When I first woke up here, you know, that was the first thing I tried to do. But at the time, nobody would follow me. Umiyo told me I wasn't gonna be ready to make it happen for another 10 years. Oh, I totally understand. I get that a lot, too. You know, Nepsy, I don't think it's a bad thing to pursue the dreams you have. It's way better than just settling. Besides, it's fun to imagine all your crazy dreams coming to life. I really hope you can make it happen, Uzume. Hit well, Nepsy. I'll make it a reality. Yay! Episode preview! Do I get to buy items yet from this Nep Station thing? Do you know what time it is? It's Nep Station! Your hosts today are Neptune and Nepgear reporting live! So, Nepgear, I never thought we'd be able to transform, huh? Indeed, what was even more surprising was that it was due to Uzume's ability. I didn't expect our first HDD battle to be against that giant either. Wow! 
Speaking of unexpected, that one person showed up again. What's up with that, right? That one person. <laughs> oh, right. R4 or R4 or belt conveyor some such named a plant colored person, right? Neptune, you're really doing that on purpose, aren't you? Well, eggplant lady's just a foil at this point, so let's forget her and move on the move on to the episode preview. Take it away, Nepgear. A new enemy is targeting a new enemy targeting us stands in Uzbe's path as he searches for a way home to send us home. Countless monsters attack. Neptune finally activates that forbidden system. Next episode, give you strength. Today's preview still kind of wasn't a preview, but don't worry about it. We're working out the kinks. We'll see you next time. I can't buy items from this yet? Oh, damn it. Blah. Ugh. See here, you two. How long do you plan on dawdling about? You're much too young to be loafing around all day. But, Umio, all this exhaustion from fighting the giant won't go away. Me too. I just can't get motivated. Uh, blah. Dear me, where has all that spirit you both had before gone? Uh, I'm sorry. Even my sister's giving you trouble now. No need to apologize. I suppose their lack of energy is a direct effect of the of a demanding bout with that giant. Besides, all we have are endless days of work once we get back home, so we won't get punished for taking it easy here. N Neptune. Then, Goosey, would you mind accompanying me for today? Me? I don't mind, but where are we going? Hmm, what's this? You taking her on a date, Umio? Has Nep Jr. finally entered the per popular phase? As her older sister, this means I'll have to inter interrogate everyone, every one of her suitors to make sure they're wholesome. All right, Nepsy, it's decided. Let's shadow them on their date. Huh? Is that what this is? <laughs> you're quite adorable when you're flustered, Gearzy. Unfortunately, this will not be something so fanciful. I came upon an interesting facility while taking a stroll last night. I suspect there may be data there, data there that might interest you, thus the invitation. Oh, oh, I understand. I was a little startled. Perhaps you would have preferred Neptune's assumption, assumed intention? Goodness, please, don't tease me. <laughs> I apologize. Well, that is my proposed idea. Nepsi, Uzume, what will you do? I wouldn't mind if you both came along as well. Hmm, there's nothing for me to do even if I hang out here, so I guess I'll tag along. Nepsi, what about you? If Uzume's cruising, then I will too. It'd be boring if I stayed here all alone. Fantastic, then let us depart. Oh, we still got combos over here. Huh? I never knew this place existed in the city. What's up with this equipment? Does it work? I, too, was quite surprised when I discovered it. I never would have imagined a facility like this would it be left standing in such pristine condition. Okay, so we didn't get a new dungeon opened. It was just go right back here. What the hell? Umio, is it all right if I take a look around? Oh, Netgear's got that look in her face. That means she's total nerd mode right now. I haven't the slightest idea about what sort of facility this is, but I'm sure no one is around who would protest. Yay, in that case I'll get started on digging around this main computer and its server. First I'll connect the end gear by wire. There. How's it, sweet sis of mine? Anything interesting? Yo! Zero dimension to Nep Jr. No way! Is my own younger sibling giving, younger sibling giving me the cold shoulder? It seems Gearzy is extremely focused at the moment, so it may be best to keep from disturbing her at the moment. I said at the moment twice. That's something I do. Okay. Oh, could this possibly be? Hmm. What is it? A discovery? Did you find something cool? Yes, I thought this was some sort of communication facility, but I think this might actually be a form for transportation. 
transport facility, you say? Oh, but the equipment here is only enough to transport for transport between here and neighboring cities. And this and this is conjecture, but from examining this device, interdimensional travel seems unlikely with the limited science tech here. Oops. Aw, that would happen. Sorry, I didn't mean to get your hopes up. It's alright, little sis. You're trying. We just have to keep searching. Hmm? What's that noise? What? That's my N-Gears ringtone. But I don't have reception at all, so... A call? From who? Um... Oh my goodness, it's Histoire! Neptune, I'm getting a call from Histoire! Yes! I was really hoping that they would have some form of, like, communication or Histoire would be there or something. Thank God my waifu is in this. Thank God. Really? Wow, she must have a premium cell phone reception plan to make calls between dimensions. Nip Jr., his twa can be pretty impatient, so I'd pick up that call right now if I were you. Hello, this is Nepgear. Oh, Nepgear. Oh, thank goodness. I have been dying to reach you. Is Neptune with you? Yes, she's right here with me. Howdy, Isti. It's been a doggy's age. How have you been? I'm relieved to hear both of your voices. I've been incredibly worried since since your sudden disappearance. I'm sorry, Histy. We tried so many times to contact you. There's no reason for you to apologize, Nepgear. After all, you two are in another dimension. Yes. Um, Nepgear? Can you hear me? I just said you're in another dimension. Doesn't that does that not surprise you? Huh? What are you implying? I just confirmed that you are in another dimension, yes? I seem to be more shocked by this information. <laughs> naive. So very naive, Histy. We've already figured out we're in another dimension over here. How do you like that? I never would have expected Neptune to anticipate her current situation in this manner. Have you hit your head anywhere, perchance? Hey now, Isti! Isn't that kinda cruel? I haven't cracked my melon open or anything, and my brain always operates at lightning speeds! Well, the image of you being lazy has been burned in my mind lately. <laughs> so I was under the impression you only use your skull for sport. Histoire <laughs> <laughs> just laid in on, on Neptune right now. Ah, so Nepsy acts the same in her world, too. Oh? Who else is there with you two? <coughs> Sorry about that. It was a disgusting cough, I know. Their names are their names are Uzume and Umio. They've been helping us quite a bit quite a bit. Uzume also happens to be the CPU here. I see. I cannot begin to express my gratitude to you for looking after these two. Don't worry about it. I haven't had this much fun in as long as I can remember. It's been a blast having them around. Uh, what's wrong? Something I said? Oh, no. Nothing at all. I apologize. You reminded me of old acquaintance. Please, pay it no mind. <gasps> Is Uzume Uranus? From Rebirth 2? Oh! <gasps> Did I figure something out? That's right. I have not yet introduced myself. My name is Histoire, and I am currently operating as Planeptune's Oracle. Histoire and Planeptune, huh? Whoa, what the fuck? Oh dear, what's the matter? Are you not feeling well? Nah, my bad. It's nothing, just a little tired. Sorry to make you worry. I want to find out who she is. Is she the very first CPU or is she the very last CPU? Which end is it? Oh, I missed I missed what he said. Uzume, would you allow me to speak with her as well? Oh, right, of course. Greetings, Istwa. This is Umio. It is a pleasure to make your acquaintance. The pleasure is mine, Umio. I apologize for any trouble the girls may have caused, Neptune in particular. 
No apologies necessary, Histoire. It's it felt it's felt quite lonesome here for some time now, so this segment has been perfect for us. Oh, it truly is a relief to hear that. Why does this conversation sound like two parents talking to each other? Yeah, what are we, kids or something? You are like a daughter to me, Uzume. What? I was your kid, Umio? Mr. Umio, you are the father! <laughs> what a shocking real revelation for Umio the merman, folks! Uzume, how's it feel to be this station's first mercy be you? Then doesn't that mean I can breathe underwater? And it means I have a right to eat as much shrimp and crab as I want. All right, we can have a deck. We can have a decadent crab hot pot tonight. Woohoo! I had simply meant it as a metaphor. It would appear your hands are quite full. I do offer my sympathies, Umio. Hey, Istwa, are you going to be able to find us to help us find the way back home? I don't see any possibility here for interdimensional travel. Please, rest assured. By mediating through the end gear and linking a transport terminal from that world to a transport terminal in ours, it is possible for me to transfer both of you. Ooh, just as I expected of my ISD. I'm proud to see you suddenly becoming so amazingly high spec. However, this will consequently deplete a large amount of share energy from our world, so please understand that. If we can make it back home, then that's all the small stuff. Nep Jr. will work hard for our shares when we get back home, after all. Only me? <laughs> exactly. Don't be ridiculous. Gaining share en energy is in your job description as well, Neptune. When you return, be you believe me, I will have you working like a dog. And she probably will. Istwa is a fierce little girl. <coughs> Are you for real? Sheesh, maybe I'll just put, stay put on this side of the pond. D don't say that, big sis. Let's get home. I'll help out too. So let's do our best together, okay, Neptune? You'll really help me out? Alright, yippee! Heavens, you always spoil her like this, Nepgear. So, Isti, we're actually already in a facility that houses a transfer terminal. Is this true, Nepgear? Yes, but this terminal is only calibrated for spatial transfer within this dimension. Would this be compatible for our application? Yes, as long as it is indeed a transfer terminal, it will work without any problems. Okay, so I will use the transfer terminal that you are currently connected to. Guess you two found your ride. Looks like it. I really wanted to get back home to my friends and my pudding, but now well, I'm feeling kind of reluctant about it. Me too. I knew this would be an inevitab inevitability, but I didn't think I'd be by myself again so quickly. It feels like you just got here. Ah, that's right. If we leave, she'll be all alone again. Well, Nepsy, Gearzy, it's been fun. I've only known you for a few days, but it feels like it's been so much longer. You make sure to take care of yourself, Gearzy. Yes, I truly am sorry. You helped us out so much, but I couldn't figure out anything about the destruction of your world. You need not worry of it, Gearzy. I'll take my time to investigate the rest. Hmm? This is quite strange. It appears I cannot access that terminal over there. Wait. It might be... Histoire, give me a moment to... while I check on something. I knew it. This terminal is broken! I see. This is a huge problem. If we cannot use this terminal, then I'm afraid we may be out of options. Then, let me fix it! I'll have to examine it to be sure, but I don't think it's too damaged. I believe this could still work for us. Wow, I knew you were good with machines, but I'm impressed you can fix something like this. Well, she is my awesome little sister, after all. By the way, what's your special skill, Nepsy? Me? Well, I have... Uh... Oh, wait. What should I do, Uzume? I don't think I have any marketable skills like Nep Jr. D don't ask me. 
Please contact me once you have completed your repairs, Nepgear. I believe as long as you are within close proximity to the terminal, I can contact you through your, through your end gear. Okay, I understand. I'll call you as soon as I'm finished. Is there any way we may be of help? For now, I'm going to try and figure out why the terminal is broken down. So you're free to do as you please, for now. Ah, uh, there you go again, Nep Jr. Don't be shy, we're more than happy to help. I might not stay up to date with all the games out there, but I for sure know my way around retro consoles. <laughs> Taking this apart will be a breeze. And if I show how awesome and cool I am here, then everyone is going to realize just how capable of a person I really am. Nepgear is going to break it even, or Neptune's going to break it even more. I just know it. It's like this problem is affecting Nepsy in, a, in her own unique way. Um, I may kind of want you to stay put, Neptune. What? Pump the brakes, Nepsy. Gearsy's got it handled. Let's go see if we can find anything around here that might be useful to us. Nepgear has left. Oh. Oh. So Nepgear has left the party, eh? You know, I seriously, guys, I would spend a lot more time grinding in the middle of episodes, but I don't have any contracts, any quests, any of the any of those shenanigans, so it doesn't feel worth it to just go grind. I like to grind when I have the quests and contracts. So we'll just continue on with the story here. Jeez, this is like straight up 30 minutes of just dialogue. Nepgear, how's it looking? Think it's gonna work? Oh, so that's how it's wired. That should, that's pretty strange. I wonder why they have those pots mounted on the board as op, as opposed to... One hour... One hour later. Hey, Gizzy, you done yet? I see. So these broken so, so, solder joints were, pro, were probably causing it to short out. I wonder where this resistor is supposed to go. Three hours later. They're both asleep. Mm, I can't eat anymore. Wow, wee! This is so crazy. This circuit board has GC 1988 printed on it. An 88 circuit board is super rare. Oh, this circuit doesn't really serve any purpose for our application, so I can just bypass it and take the board home with me. <laughs> She's such a techie. <laughs> Five hours later. This is a nine hour project. Let's just let's let's throw that out there. And now they're both asleep. It's finished! What? It's finally done. We've been waiting. So, will the transfer terminal work? Well, I fixed as much as I could, but there are two problems with it. Problems? Yes, the corrosion of one of the core parts of this terminal is really bad. If we want to use the terminal, we need to replace that part. I was able to patch up a lot of the other problems, but, well, I still have a long way to go. You're doing great, Gearsy. What's the other problem? We have no power. A large amount of energy is required to get the terminal running, but there barely seems to be any power left in this building. I see. Both are difficult problems. Now nah, we can at least search for the spare part. The city is so vast, I'm sure we can find a substitute for it. And what of the energy? We can likely find a replacement part quite easily, but I imagine finding a power source being difficult. We can figure that out that part out later. I can't really think of where we'd even find that right now. Yep, we might find a solution while we're looking for the part. Exactly. That being said, let's go look for it. And Nepgear's joined again. Okay, cool. So, does that mean... Nope. Because there's no exclamation point icon. That does not mean... <laughs> I go travel places. We can't find anything. I could have sworn I saw something that looks similar. Let's take a break for lunch. We can keep searching after. I'm starving. I like that idea. What should we do for lunch? I know, let's have some pudding! It is around that time, now that you mention it. Is there anything you're craving, Uzume? Pudding, Nepsy? It's gotta be meat. How can you have any pudding if you don't eat your meat? 
Neptune? Neptune? Does meat sound good? Meat's good too, but I'd still like to propose having some super sugar treats as a dull, as a dull lunch snack time meal. Well, I guess sweets sound good too, but when you talk about sweets, it's gotta be crepes. Uzme would so love to have a strawberry chocolate panetta crepe with, like, a ton of whipped cream. The balance between the tangy, slight sour strawberry and the sweet chocolate is super yummy. It's just the best. Oh, even if we just had the ingredients, it'd be totally awesome if we had that. Uh-oh. Oh. oh. <clears throat> well, you know, meat's good and all, but I'm not really that hungry, anyway. Whatever's clever, Nepsy. Dear me, there's no reason to even cover it up at this point. Then it's decided. We'll have crepes for lunch. Let's search around for any leftover ingredients. There's a building nearby that looks like it used to be a market. Let's check it out. Uzume is really cute when she tries acting all tough. It's so adorable. I'd really like to take her to the crepe shop on Planet on Planet Tower Street someday. Okay, yeah. This is a lot of dialogue in this scene. <clears throat> oh, this terminal might be... I knew it! This terminal can get online. I might be able to find something. Ah, here it is. Month whatever, day whatever. We can't stop blah blah blahs rampaging blah blah blah. At this point... Wait. U-Z-U-M-E is five letters. A-R-F-O-I-R-E... Nope, doesn't work. At this rate, blah 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 will fall to ruins. Now those faces, we got P-L-A... P-L-A-N-E-P-T-U-N-E -E -E that fits in that blank right there. Oh, I decided to search for a way to stop her rampage. Blah, 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 month, blah, 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 day. I feel like I'm seeing a whatever. Yet another whatever has perished. How can I possibly stop it? Huh? That's four blanks, so it can't be CPU. Huh. Blah 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 month, blah 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 day. Whatever returned to normal. She remembered what she had done. Blank asked me to blank her. So if we replace those blanks, Uzume asked me to kill her. Whoa. Hmm. I sort of get the meaning, but at the same time, I sort of don't. What are you looking at? Oh, Uzume, um, I'm collecting intel on what happened here in your world, and... Wait, didn't I mention this before? Oh, right, my bad. So, how's that going? I found several records, but all the data I've found so far is incredibly disjointed. I can't make heads or tails of what I've read. What's your end goal here, Gearsy? I just want to know the truth. I want to know what this world was was like and why it's been destroyed. It's just speculation, but I feel like the reason this nation fell into ruin is written here in these records. There might not be much I can actually do with that information once I uncover it, but even so, it'll just be good to know. I see. Maybe you'll be the one to release me from this prison, Gearsy. Prison? I've tried so many times to escape. Every time has been in vain. That blue sky feels so nostalgic. You might be just what I needed. Uzume? Whoops, I started talking about weird things. Forget it, I'll catch up with you later. This might be like a test realm or something for her. Huh. Prison, huh? Maybe it really is painful for Uzme to be in this world. Hey, Gearsy! Wake up, Gearsy! Hmm? Uh, huh? Why are you here, Uzme? I thought you just walked away. Man, still half asleep? You came over here saying there might be a terminal connected to the web and didn't come back, so I came to pick you up. Oh, yes. I guess that was what happened. No, it's not. That did not happen. So, find anything? 
Oh, I did. I was able to find this record. Let me see. Month blah blah blah. We can't stop blah blah blah's rampaging powers. At this rate, the world will fall to ruins. I decide to search for a way to stop her rampage. I feel like I'm seeing a nightmare. Yet another city has perished. How can I possibly stop it? She can read where the blanks were. Blah 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 returned to normal. She remembered what she had done. Blah 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 asked me to kill her. What the hell is this? I didn't get it at all. Gearzy, does this make sense to you? Huh? I feel like it looks different from before. But I can see the data properly. Was I that half asleep? This is interesting! Hey, Nepsy! I found this in a pile of rubble. Here you go. Whoa, is this a dead copy of Xebius? You know of it? Know it? It's a super famous title where the makers of the original place the hidden message that easily weeds out the fake ones. <laughs> You're pretty knowledgeable when it comes to games, huh, Gearzy? Or Nepsy. And over here is, is a Benta. Peel off this crappy logo sticker. See? Told you. It says Zeka, the real manufacturer behind this thing. I should show this to Nip Jr. too. Hey, Nip Jr., we found something super rare. Hey, Nip Jr. Uzume and Neptune seem to be having so much fun, but this will all end soon, won't it? Is it really okay for us to leave Uzume and go back home? But Neptune and I both have to return. We have people hitting on us. I wonder what's wrong. Can she not hear me? Alright guys, I did a lot of talking right now. <laughs> if you guys, we're going to call that an episode. If you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like down below. Subscribe for more content and always leave a comment. I try to read any all comments that I possibly can and I try to reply to as many as I possibly can. Either way, Panda, check in out.